Okay, so uh, this time we'll look at the Granby Roll to Niba, um, so he goes into the turtle. From here, I go down and push down his head, controlling his hip, all the things that I should be doing. I'm going to allow him to do his Granby Roll in a second, all right? And then as he does it, I'm going to go to a legal thing for the IBJJF, which is the knee bar. So as he rolls, I'm going to catch the inside of this thigh. All right. So you can't see that, but I'll show you in a minute. If I let him roll over, I've caught the inside of this thigh. Okay. So this time I catch the inside of this thigh. He thinks he's getting to a triangle or to a turtle position or something like that. As soon as he catches this thigh, I grab the back of his knee. This is really tight on the knees. I'm going to slot my knee over the top and I put my foot on his ass. I'm going to go back. Foot on his ass. Stay on that knee back. Okay? So, it's catching that inside thigh, which is the important. So, he's going to face his head that way. Okay? I'm in here, hip on hip. Okay? Holding his head down. He's going to Granby roll. As he Granby rolls, I posture, but I hold the inside of his thigh. Okay, I like to stop the Granby roll with my knee here. Okay, once I get to this point and I'm here, I'm going to allow me to turn with him as I slide my knee in. Knees, arms, legs, legs even. Legs tight underneath my armpit and sit back, foot on his ass, go into here, that's where he's on. Yeah, so you can easily get Ashigrami. Ashigrami is much easier to get. Uh, knee bar is a little bit harder. But um, they're both functioning in the right spot. Okay.